All right, so everything's been a powder coat for the past couple of weeks. All I've really been doing is doing some cleaning on the frame. And I've gotten a bunch of this stuff back already, but it isn't quite everything, so I don't want to show too much yet. But what I will show today, I got all my cross members back. So while I'm waiting on everything else, I'm going to go ahead and throw those in because this frame is not loving life right now. All right, I got my harness running all the way back again. Everything right there should be good now or good enough until I clean it because it doesn't look the best. But there's one other thing that I brought down here to put in. All right, boys, finally, 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 we got the last little bit of stuff that's been a powder coat. Oh man, that color looks so good. So the axle is what I've been waiting on this entire time. This whole time we've had almost everything besides the axle and a couple things, which was the sway bar and all my coil springs because I took those last. This I took first with everything else and I wanted this to get done as soon as possible so that I could take it to my shop to get rebuilt. So it's going to get dropped off to get rebuilt right now with the 513s and then we're done. I have done a couple other things to the truck that y'all haven't seen yet. I feel like it's been forever since I've been down here. Everything's finally done. Axles in here, drive shaft, springs. I got everything else or mostly everything to put the truck back together here right now. Now I told y'all I wasn't showing y'all everything I was doing or putting on the truck yet until I got everything back. And that's because you can see I did different colors. The reason I didn't want to show y'all anything is because... We already put the cradle in. And I didn't film anything because I didn't want to leak the color just yet. And y'all have already seen putting the cradle on and taking it off a couple times. So I wasn't too worried about it. But the cradle's finally in. The front is back on the ground. All we got to do is put the top bars in. I hadn't put the overlays on yet, obviously. But that's just because I didn't want to mess them up yet. Because it's been probably like a month since uh, this cradle's been on. He took his bed off while we've been doing a bunch of stuff to his truck and uh wanted to clean the underside of it and go ahead and paint his fender wells and everything and this made it so much easier so i'm doing the exact same thing and plus it'll make it easier to put all the parts back on anyway because this uh this bed definitely needs a cleaning this is what it's gonna look like it actually cleans up way better than i expected so i'm gonna clean the underside of the bed after we take it off and then i'm gonna clean the underside of the cab and everything transmission transfer case everything up there is getting clean and then obviously exhaust is getting completely redone Okay. 
came out so good. A little bit further to hold it.
you're wondering why I'm doing this, it's because I'm stupid. These have to go there. Only way to do that is take the action shafts out. So I should have given these to the shop that rebuilt this, but I wasn't thinking about it. Sound like Darth Vader. That's not what he sounds like. I love this bit cover so much. Thing is inside my toolbox, but your uh, tailgate's on my toolbox. I don't need any of this one. Basically, at this point, we're done. The only thing I'm still waiting on is I need to order brake lines. And also, this side doesn't have a caliper on it because I'm replacing all four calipers with these. The ones I have on the front, I didn't really like. And these match the powder coat color a lot better. So, I ordered all four. Two for the driver's side, two for the passenger side. But the only two that have come in so far are the two driver's sides. Um, still waiting on the passenger sides, but we can still put it on the ground today.
All right, so I've just been touching up little stuff, but I also finally got everything ready to put the sway bars on finally. Those are clean. I got my spots on my frame under here cleaned up, so now we can tack those on and get the sway bar done. We have a problem. Hmm. What do we do about that? So I need to get this as even as possible. All right, I think finally got that set exactly where I want it. And we got it tight against the frame so it's not gonna move. So now he can go ahead and tack these plates up. All right, while I'm over here trying to make sure all that's good and my truck's getting done, this guy's over here stealing my shocks. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> I mean, I guess I don't need them anymore. These are my leaf springs, too. Oh, gosh, that was confusing. All right, we finally got the sway bar on, and I do have overlays for this, which are these right here, but these are not gonna work because these welds came too far out. If I line all the holes up, it sits on top of those welds, and some of them won't even let you line them up because of the welds, so I'm gonna have to take all these overlays and grind some of this part down right here and get these repowder coated with everything else that we're taking. So that's no big deal, really, but I just can't put these on yet. All right, we'll change the plans. The sway bar is going to have to get redone. These brackets were nowhere near being able to sit on the sway bar. And I knew something was off. I knew it couldn't have been just the powder coat making it that much thicker. So I started sanding it down a little bit to see if I could make it fit a little better. And realized they sprayed this sway bar twice, at least twice. Um, and since this is an illusion color, that means they did it four times. So obviously no way these are going to go on. It's way too thick. So I'm taking this back. I'm going to have them completely strip the entire thing, spray it once. If it doesn't work, strip it again. All right. I started making some progress yesterday, but, uh, it started raining. So couldn't get too far, but it's getting there. It's going to look pretty good. I'm gonna try to finish that today. And then this, like I said, I mean, there's basically not much more we can do until we get the sway bar back. And then wheel lights have to go on, caliper has to go on and brake lines. And then the rear is done um, after we align it and everything. But other than that, I think that's gonna do it for this video. We're nowhere near done as far as making videos on this and this part of the build being done and everything. So there's definitely gonna be more. And I promise you this next one is not gonna take as long to come out as this one did. I know this one took a long time, but that was completely out of my control this time. But like I said, be looking out because there's about to be a lot more coming on this thing.